happy Monday. This is the start of a new week. You have the power to make your week super great, okay? Make sure you watch all your videos and do your exit tickets so that you can grow your brain and be ready for third grade. If you want to be ready for third grade, say, yeah, that's me. All right. Now, today we're going to learn something new. It's called line of symmetry. Repeat after me. Say line of symmetry. Kind of sounds like a tree, symmetry, symmetry. All right, now we can say that a line of symmetry is the exact reflection of an object or an image, okay? I'll say that again. We can say that symmetry is the exact reflection or mirror image of an object or a shape. Now, a line of symmetry is like an imaginary line that goes through the center of an object or an image and it divides it into identical halves. Yes, it's the imaginary line like goes right through the center of an object or shape that makes it into identical halves. This is one half. This is one half. You see the reflection on both sides that look pretty much the exact same. Now, we find lines of symmetry in objects all around us, literally, like this picture. You can see the apple, you can see the leaf, and you can see the butterfly. You see that there's really an imaginary line, but we put dotted lines through so that you can imagine it, okay? It's like the dotted or imaginary line that goes through the object that creates it into two identical halves. If you look at the leaf, you can see that it goes straight down the center and it makes both halves look exactly the same. Same thing for the apple that's cut. When that line goes down the center, you see the exact same image on both sides. It lasts just like the pretty butterfly. It goes down the middle, the center, and you see that both sides are identical. That tells us that we can find a line of symmetry where it goes down the middle and both sides are identical, okay? Now, watch what I mean when we talk about a line of symmetry in 2D shapes. Who remembers their 2D shapes? There's your hand if you remember. Yeah, we know our 2D shapes are flat. Okay, we can't do that much with 2D shapes because they're flat. They're not like 3D. All right, now watch these shapes that I'm getting ready to show you. I can tell you how many lines of symmetry is in a 2D shape by looking at how many sides the shape actually has. Now look at this image on the screen. Let's look at the triangle. How many sides does that triangle have? Yes, it has three sides. So I can say that there are three lines of symmetry because each side is equal, okay? All sides are equal. So I have three lines of symmetry. I can fold that shape at each of those lines and I can get the identical image on both sides. Same thing with the square. How many sides does the square have? Four. So I have four lines of symmetry. Now let's look at the pentagon. How many sides does it have? Show me on your fingers. Five. So how many lines of symmetry? Five lines of symmetry. Now let's look at the hexagon. How many sides? Six sides. So I have how many lines of symmetry? Six lines of symmetry. Watch me show you how I can fold the 2D shape and you can see the exact reflection on the other side. You ready? I'm ready.
Let's look at this triangle. Now remember, I can draw an imaginary line down the middle this way. I can draw an imaginary line down the middle this way. I'm starting at the lines. And I can draw an imaginary line this way. There are three lines. There are th one, two, three. Three sides have three lines of symmetry. I can fold this shape at any one of these lines and I still have the exact reflection. Now watch me do it from the top. I'm gonna fold it exactly down the middle. All right, I folded it down the middle. So now can you see on both sides, it looks exactly the same. Now I can fold it on another side, right here at the other line. And it'll still have the exact reflection down the middle. Now, look, I folded it this way. Both sides are exactly the same. This side matches this side. Now I can fold it again at the other side because I have three lines of symmetry. Now I'm gonna fold it here. Watch me fold it right down the center. Look, I folded it again. Goes right down the center. Both sides create the exact same reflection. I want you to try and draw any one of these 2D shapes. Practice folding them at each of at each of the sides so that you can get a line of symmetry. Just like this one, where I can fold it, that will create a line of symmetry. Now I'm gonna draw some dots down the middle so you can see what I mean. Hey, the secret word is Toy Story, the movie. Or I can do it on this square. All four sides are equal, so I'm, not, I'm going to have four lines of symmetry. I can draw this down the middle. The exact reflection. I can draw it down the middle on the other side. Two lines of symmetry. I have another line of symmetry. And then my last line of symmetry. I have four lines of symmetry. One, two, three, four. I can fold it at any one of these dotted lines and the, I'm gonna get the exact reflection on the other side, okay? Now I know this may be a little hard, so just watch the video again, or maybe you can watch some cool videos on line of symmetry. Okay, try to do your best on your exit ticket. I believe in you. See you tomorrow.